Hey, what up, Osmosis? I don't know whose birthday it is. But I wanted to get a... Um... I was annoyed that I didn't get at least as far as showing off uh, level 99 Hellion last stream. So I want to try and at least get that far. So only one thing for it. Two nights in a row. There we go. That's definitely one of my setups. Very distinctive. This one's actually not, like, not super tricky, but you have to, basically, I'm going to move down in the middle of the gate, and then once I'm out the other side of the gate, I have to take three steps to one side. And three steps is, I, I find three steps is kind of an awkwardly precise number. With one step is easy, because you just do a little flick flick of your thumb off to, uh, to the side and it goes bunk. But taking like precisely two or three steps is kind of difficult, I find. <laughs> yeah. Relatable, right? Smashed it. Four thirty nine minus zero point eight again. I'm pretty sure I got that on both my runs last night as well. That minus zero point eight. Madness.
Alright. And we got Perfect Magician's Island again. Feels good. Not perfect like that stairs, but good enough. Ba 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 ba. That's how I would have gone. I say this all the time, that the next hard thing is Tai Ho. But then I do lose a lot of runs between here and Tai Ho, so maybe I should stop saying that. I have uh, uh, taken steps to mitigate against Lenincamp NPC blocking my uh, entrance to the inn. As happened in both my runs last night. On both Lenin Camp entries as well. Happened once uh, the, on, well, when you first arrive in Lenin Camp from Gregminster and again arriving back there after rescuing Barkus and Sidonia. And it screwed me both times. So I have taken steps to mitigate against it. Just adjusting my pathing in Lenin Camp slightly so that um, I'll always move around him even if he does move in the way. Nice. The little movement adjustment, like taking the gate on the way out of Gregminster slightly wide there. It's a real manip. I mean, it sort of can't be. Because <laughs> the gap in the encounters there is only like 30 or so. And like, 
with the, the you know, the skipping dialogue text in Gregminster, speaking to Craze, the birds on screen for varying numbers of frames. Like, just that little plus three steps of movement can't be that reliable. But it does seem to be. <sighs> this part is long. Last one. Two boars on the bottom left corner here. The fail or fail or run. Hit Gremio for 15? Yeah. I've done this part before. Thank you. 
Smooth movement through the town there, if I do say so myself. see two ants. Hello Chris. Didn't see two ants, that's good. Thanks for the good luck dude, hope you're doing well. This long bullshit to skip through. Fine, just pop out and get some medicine, would you? There's a good lad. I swear to God, if Pawn comes back with soldiers again, I'm going to be bloody livid. Fucking hell. Pawn, we've talked about this. What's up, Chrono? Thanks for the good luck. That must be it. Yeah, colorblind. 
Because if you can't see colours, how are you going to tell the difference between medicine and soldiers? That must be what it is. we're gonna get the best kind Medicine? No. I see how we got confused. Wouldn't dream of joining the rebels. Me, son of a great imperial general, think not. Hmm. 
slightly worried about that slight um, movement fuck up with the soldier outside the door. My margin isn't that tight, but I think I was a bit late in my window leaving Lennon Camp anyway. I mean, it'll be fine. The worst that will happen is we see a, an encounter on the world map. Which is not the end of the world, but it would be a shame because we've a very clean world map walk so far. Ah! Oh. Wasn't expecting it that early. What? Jesus, okay, it really fucked with it. Come on! Oh, this is some bullshit, man. I was really uh, I was really pleased with how the world map walks were going. Damn it, that's three. I'm a suddenly ah. Uh, I'm sure we can keep it in the green oh, at the Odessa split, despite the extra Marco game. I just have to not get any world map encounters, and I, it so nearly happened then. I just It was just that little fuck-up of movement talking to the soldier outside the manor in Rockland. Dang, what a shame. So we are going to be in the red after this split. If the rest of the split goes fine, then I think we'll be in the red by about 10 seconds. Maybe a little more. Just the tip. Ugh. Really hate that movement.
My my movement up to people I need to talk to. It's not uh not going well. And I just can't get all the pieces of this early game to line up so that I don't, um, so that I don't get world map fights. Hello to you. Not Slipnip. Nice name. <laughs> first time. Very first time playing the game, yeah. No spoilers. No, it's not. Yeah, we're going to be more than 10 seconds in the red here. Maybe I should consider speedrunning. Seems like a fun and fulfilling way to spend an obscene number of hours of my life. Oh no, 10 seconds, look at that. I moved to the right there. Just had a little brain malfunction about where we were going. Odessa's not Millic, yet we let her die. I know, right? Oh, 
My internet's going funny. One hundred nine percent speed run. Save Odessa. Yeah. Ten percent also save Ted. God damn. See, if I could just get the, the early game world map walks, good. I saw three world map encounters, and that would, that would take off like nine seconds, so I'd be within one second of... or about, within, about one second away from keeping it in time with where I was in PB, even though I do an extra Marco game. Just from playing better and faster, I guess. Wow, my internet uh, signal strength is really struggling. Sorry if the stream's uh, chopping and lagging a bit. Anxiety. Please let me get it. Shit. Okay, well, Taiho Manip is off. We're YOLO. Damn it! It's really fucking annoying. So the run's probably over, but, you know, never say never. Well, I actually quite often say the runs are dead and then they carry on, but, um, we'll, uh, roll something, roll something, man. That'll do. Hey, all right. Take that. Uh, only trouble is now we've got to judge from NPC indicators where
too early. Damn, that's way too early, I think. Or is it? Hmm. I don't know, that down movement. It's either... Yeah, only one way to find out. It, we're either going to be way too early and, like, completely off of any sort of RNG pattern that I'm familiar with. Or we're going to be in exactly the right spot. We're hoping for three three slug, one ghost armor. Nope. It, uh, uh? Oh my god, we're, we're in exactly the right spot. Easy. Why do we even manip Taiho? Just fucking... Just fucking cruise in there and do it, man. Easy peasy. I can't believe that I can't believe the run is like still alive and in exactly the right RNG spot. Concerned about my internet. The like the indicator of my signal strength for my stream is just swinging between like green, yellow, red, amber, just like. changing more often than traffic lights. And I'm a bit concerned by it, but I'm going to try not to let it distract me. And I hope the stream's not lagging too much. Right now, I lost my last run to wheel. So let's. Good.
This is the danger music. Some people are about to get punched into oblivion. There they go. Get him. Got him. Shit. Oh, that's bad. Well, not necessarily, but it could be. Shit. No. Damn it. Stan. Stan's gonna fuck it, I just know he is. Good lad, Stan. Alright, well, hopefully we'll be alright. I think we'll be okay. I just so worry when I don't go in, when I don't enter Kaku at like my familiar RNG position there. Um. Good old Stan can perform his classic dock block maneuver. And he often does when I'm a, a little bit late in the RNG arriving there. But it was okay. Fuck! Not looking good.
think we just about made it. The trouble is, do I do I pick up the escape talisman here? We're a little bit. I don't know. Don't know if I've got enough steps to get back to my spot if I pick up the escape talisman, but not picking it up is risky. No, I'm just gonna go. So I can't skip the escape talisman in um, Dwarf Vault. So I have to be really accurate with where I arrive. Now I have done some bribing here. Had those two groups of six on the world map, which probably came to just over three grand. Oh, and then only a couple of red soldier ants, which was only like 600. I should have an error margin of about eight grand. So I don't think I need to pick up Killer Crystal or anything here. On the way back down.
Now I've got a prayer got here in the right spot. To be fair, if I didn't, it's really just an extra bribe. So uh, that probably... Okay, now we're good. That's how it went. Gold! We love to see it. Yes, I have worked uh, Invisible Hellion into the route, and it's actually uh, precipitated quite a lot of changes. So I've done a fair bit of re rerouting since my last stream. Exactly, no matter how much time we save, no matter how quickly we go, Elf Village always gets burned.
Well, I'm pleased that I'm in the green. Because nothing so far, the only thing that's actually changed is that I do an extra Marco game. And I've seen one more encounter than I had seen by this point in PB. And just, I don't know, I guess just through not hesitating and through cleaner execution. I've somehow managed to like eat up that time. That's true. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I'm not just uh, better at executing. I'm worse at Tai Home in it. <laughs> Just, and just luckier. Luck's totally a skill. Yeah, pretend it's a new setup. Space Cody, what's up? Ugh. Got the 88 minute. My trademark damage number. Right, don't kill him. It's 
successfully didn't kill him. Ah, oh, now. The thing with level 99 Hellion is that there ends up, when you, like, advance a character all the way to level 99, there's a, a lot of variance in their speed. She can have anywhere from, like, 110 to 130. Which starts to clash with Flick right around the time you start get, getting to Nectal's Castle. So, for that reason, I have a Hellion Speed Manip. And we'll see how that goes. I suspect I will fuck it up. And we'll just have to deal with whatever speed Hellion has. Well, we got fucking, fucking gas bomb in it to get through first. What up, Wolf? Thank you for the good luck. Yeah, shouldn't be getting ahead of myself to Hellion Speed Minute. Got um, big old gatekeeper to get through first. Yeah. All right, come on. Good. Got it, should be triple one. Nice. Okay, sigh of relief.
All right, second floor, sharpen Pawn's weapon. Lost a run to forgetting to do that before. Don't forget now. Oh no, third floor. Take the stairs. Alright, now this is where stuff starts to get different. is a guaranteed victory, it sure is. Mortis, hope you're doing well. Doodly doodly doodly. Oh my god. Sorry, I, I oh my god it because that's I got plus three steps in the door there, and that is the worst one. She's only gonna have a speed of 121 now. We 
which is right in Flick's average range. That's fine. Yeah. Ugh, yeah, 121. that for a nameless urn strat. <laughs> Earthquake is a terrible name for that spell. No, rock slide or something? Landslide? Just boulders? Plus three steps in the door is the worst. All the rest of them are decent. That's like easily the worst one.
Just thinking. That is a nice nameless urn setup, but also going back to Garen to um, do the invisible Matthew menu. Does seem like kind of an unnecessary uh, time sink, so. They went on a reconnaissance mission. Nice. They sure did. But yeah, could maybe change that, stick with Nameless Urn where it is. Which is annoyingly risky. I current, uh, Before that I did it uh, at the Lorimar section. But actually it might be worth keeping it there because rushing back to put Hellion in the party. She doesn't even stay in it for long. As soon as we put Gen and Kaminol in, she's got to be out. So we're definitely losing time this split. Because, I mean, just recruiting Hellion four times and then the extra um, party swap. I don't know what that'll add up to, but I think it'll be pretty significant. It does affect damage as well, yeah. But not linearly. Necessarily. Kind of linearly, but with a lot of variance. Oh, is it? Oh, am I thinking of, um, shit. Maybe it is. I'm sure you're right. I might be thinking of, uh, like, power and attack damage. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't know. I don't know like the ins and outs of 
where what uh, calculations happen. But I know, I, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that. Uh, hang on. But yeah, I feel like I remember if you just increase a character's power by one. By one. And then you fight the same fight again, their damage doesn't necessarily just increase by like a set amount. Now we should see the opal here. There it is. that have only the Nightmare cards in them, right from the beginning of this dungeon. By the way. It's nice. But we still need to get stupid par on his stupid levels, so... Still gotta take four fights. I mean, I basically manip only desperate attacks as it is. Well, no, that's that. I guess that's not true. Right now, should see. 115 power on Pawn here. Good. Yeah. Not the Salem Garden, not my problem. Yeah, just earthquake him real quick. What up, Trenton? Wonder if giving Pan a level fifteen weapon at like, but leaving him at like level five. I wonder if he would actually be able to do any damage to Tio. Didn't get enough sleep last night to know anything. I'm familiar with that feeling. Yeah, but if you could, if you could manip it so that uh, Tio only desperate attacked. Yeah, yeah, you, I, I could test it. Yeah. 
Well, even... Hmm, well, no. I know that even if you forget to sharpen his weapon at all, even if his, uh... If, if he still has the level ups, but his weapon is still at level 1. You probably, Zero, you probably know this as well, but uh, the damage still starts at like 92, then 69, then whatever it is. It just keeps on decreasing and decreasing. Maybe. See, there's definitely ways this uh, this category can be improved. This route can be improved. I wonder if um, I wonder if like Castle Gaspar Nip is actually a reasonable thing. Yeah, that would be the thing. I mean, now would be the time. Oh, well, no, now's too late. No, now isn't too late. Yeah, unless you're willing to wait for your winnings to count down, which takes ages. Otherwise, you end up with, like, if you just mash and then try and catch which number your money lands on when you stop it and then have setups for like a range seems crazy and not really possible <laughs> not really like uh, feasible Ugh, yeah lost over a minute there what up horizonto Yeah. Yeah. Could work. And then if you wanted to string, you'd, you could only re really string two together that way, I think. Because if you wanted to string more than that, you'd have to have, like, a different countdown window for each number inside the countdown, first countdown window that you hit. I guess. Yeah, like a flow chart. Nine three nine five looks like a very uh, unfamiliar number to me.
Yeah, yeah, it would be it would be horrible to uh to set out and then like even like executing it, man. If like the run like depended on getting that right, that would be horrible. Okay, now desperate attack first, then defend all the way home. Impossible. What's up, Zeronian and Gurren? Lost seven and a half seconds there. Probably hesitating over uh, rune menus and stuff because it's kind of new what I'm doing here. And... Bloop. <laughs> that one's pointless, but fun. What's up, Euler? Yeah, I know. Pan's fist too powerful. The escape talisman that's actually that actually saves time. I forget to do. I'm dreading the inevitable speed clash with uh, Hellion and Flick at Necklord's Castle. Oh, nice. I'm not a wearer of glasses myself, but I can only imagine that um, is a very nice feeling. Yeah. <laughs> nice that Hellion acts uh, before these pirates now. Slobo Jenkins. Thank you for the good luck.
One second exactly. I'd like to try and aim for sub one second on that uh, thing, but one second exactly is kind of neat. The nice thing about level 99 Hellion is that for this whole section, the pressure to avoid encounters is kind of off because everything you can just let go of everything. Uh, nah, see, I shouldn't. Uh, I'm probably going to see encounters here because I usually do that menu a bit differently. <laughs> Huge woman. saw the giant woman. Absolutely massive she was. Ah. Oh. Um, kind, yeah. I kind of want her to outspeed Flick. Because then my... Necklord's Castle fight doesn't change. But I guess that's only a small thing. kind of does the, the the speed stats after from 88 to 99 
it's quite um, unlikely she'll outspeed Flick at 88. It's possible, but... Her 88 um, speed maxes out at about 120. Not maxes out, but that's the highest I saw. But the, the speed thing's probably actually not that big of a deal. I could work around it. Might be worth considering. Yeah, it would. But I'm, I'm sort of thinking that running back to Garen to do the Invisible Matthew menu to put her in your party at that point is maybe a little bit unnecessary anyway, and we might I might try and keep doing Nameless Hermanip elsewhere. I did check that. To the best of my ability, I couldn't detect any. I say to the best of my ability, or literally all I did was look at the stats. No, haven't looked at that. I was I was looking at the um, stat values in memory though with round watch and they didn't change. think or was I just looking at level? I'm doubting myself now. Maybe I didn't maybe I didn't check that very thoroughly. Should have checked flick speed there. K. Oh shit. Uh. Uh. The 
fuck was that? Uh, yeah, we're kind of fucked now. 15k. I mean, I was planning on bribing Necklord here. But I can't do that now. So I'm gonna have to just run. But probably run like 10 times because his attacks do nothing to Hellion. Which is gonna be bad for my RNG for Clon Cave. What the fuck, man? Guess I just gotta hope he does um, bat attacks on Hellion once she moves to the front row. I could move her to the front row before. I might do that. Dang it, Hellion. Yeah. Wonder how much money I do have. Not 30k. Not after that. Yeah. Maybe I should have just killed him. I'm just always so reluctant to fuck with my XP route, because, um... Alright, now bats. Do bats. You bat, Necklord. These attacks aren't doing anything. She's the last one standing. Do bats. There we go. Fucking hell, even that didn't kill her. Thought that would do more damage than that. Shit. The one time we need bats, yeah. Didn't even do that much. Okay, well, we might be in we might be in trouble here. It isn't advancing RNG that much. I mean, that pattern kind of looked right. It wasn't, though. Fuck you. Wait, I don't just let go everything. No, I guess I don't, not straight away. Okay, we need a group of five. Ah, oh, perfect. One Banshee? Probably could have skipped that 5k chest. Nice, okay. Thank you. 
check Flick's speed here. Oh, 120, Helen has 121. Ah, well, I was really hoping to save some time on this split. But we ain't gonna. That random fucking world map encounter, man. So, I mean, I've changed the way I do that section. Normally, um, I would exit out the top of Lorimar and do Nameless Urn, and then come back in, recruit Kirk, then run to um, Warrior's Village. Oh, yeah, and Hellion not dying. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's... that's Yeah. Normally, I would have... Um, I would, had planned to bribe Necklord there. Which would have been a big time save, but because I saw that world map encounter that I wasn't expecting, um, I had to bribe that, which meant I didn't have enough to bribe Necklord, so that's why that whole thing happened. So really, in this split, cut out the Nameless Urn fight, Cut out the Necklord fight, because I bribe it. Cut a couple of encounters from the actual Necklord's castle. And sped up the encounters I do in Clon Cave. So it's a pretty hefty time save when the Necklord's castle split, but ain't gonna happen now. Oops.
chef number two. Yeah. Big piano flex. What up, Goblin? It's actually an organ, which I saw an organ, I saw a massive organ being played live the other day. And it's kind of nuts. You gotta play it with your feet as well. Like, I know a piano has pedals, but an organ, there's whole, like, you, like rows of shit you gotta do with both feet to, like, play notes on the organ, as well as playing all those rows of keys with your hands and pulling out stops from the pipes and shit. It's mad. <laughs> I thought that as I said it. <laughs> Saw this huge organ being played. Oh dear.
Yeah, he was just sitting in, sitting at that organ. Tengar just awkwardly standing next to him in a wedding dress. Him being like, they'll be here soon. I told them to come, they'll be here. Wow, somehow we saved 11 seconds. Even with all the bullshit that happened there. So imagine that, but cut out that stupid encounter that I saw and failed a run to. Cut out the whole fight with Necklord where Hellion refused to die. And cut out the encounter I saw on the way to Clon Cave. Cut out all of that. And that's the amount of time saved that should actually be there, that split. Nothing's really changed about the dragon section. Oh, this one thing has changed. I didn't recruit Chapman earlier. So I've got to do that now.
Just forgot where Dragon's Den was on the menu for a second there. I had to just take a second to look it up. By look it up, I mean glance at my notes because it's there. Honestly, can't remember how this section went. A PB. I can never remember how. I can never remember what happens in speedruns after they're finished. Like I'm really bad at reviewing my runs and thinking about where I lost time because it just disappears from my memory immediately. But I, I think it pretty much went fine. <laughs> um, and the only real change to the route is that... Um... Oh, we don't see... We only see two fights there. We see the fight that we Black Shadow, and then in the previous route, we saw another fight in that section of dungeon that we had to run away from. We skipped that. Uh, we recruit Chapman, which is different. We could invisibly get Fuma to level 99 as well, but, well, we we actually can't. He does exist on the screen invisibly after you've recruited. But, and the way you adjust his invisible position is by putting different characters in the back slot of your party. But there's no one that puts Fuma in, uh, there are a few people that move invisible Fuma to, a, to spots. But they're all like inside walls and shit, and you can't actually get to any of it to speak to him, which is annoying. So you can't do level 99 Fuma. Say that, I don't think I tried absolutely everyone. I probably didn't try like Mace or... Maybe like Crowley. But the other blacksmiths all moved him to the same place. So I presume Mace inside a wall. So I presume Mace would also move in there. timer's just teasing me with that countdown minus four minus 140 whatever keeps making me think like oh you know maybe maybe if we just go super fast I can reach the split before um, before that timer runs down. But I know I can't. Got all these top-notch 90s graphics to get through. Oh, 
<laughs> Look at that. Look at all those fancy circles. Fancy triangles. Oh, did you now? I haven't heard anything. But then, like, this community and the people in this chat are usually where I hear things from, so... I haven't exactly got my ear to the ground other than that. Comes out in three days, for sure. Okay, well, community says... Remasters of Sukoden 1 and 2. Announced by Konami, I don't know, a year ago at least, right? No, nah, just slightly improved graphics, but mostly it's about uh, them releasing on platforms, on the newer platforms, so like it'll be available on Steam. And, we're, and they're selling it as like a graphical, um, yeah, like graphical enhancement kind of thing. Some of the stuff from the Sukoden 2 one looked cool. Like the, they, sh they showed a preview of like the, um, yeah, I like the old graphics too. I think they hold up really well. Um... Wait, Aiden Chronicles out? Surely not. Gonna say, surely I'd have heard about that. <laughs> no, the um, Aiden Rising, or whatever it's called, the little companion game, was out. <laughs> you got me. Release it already, lads. I know, it's getting a bit like, um... We're in June 2023. I forget when the original release date was, but it was a long time ago. I know COVID did kind of screw them a little bit, but still. I guess I'd rather them get it right than rush it through.
Cat grab. Good cat grab. Nope, don't need to buy anything. Can I sell everything there? No, Crimson Cape. Uh, I guess that's fine. Opportunity to sell it. Actually, you know what? I now entered two shops in this whole recruitment spree. If I find myself with more than 10, I only need 10k to recruit Fusulu. Oh, and 10k to recruit. Uh, no, I'll have been to a shop by the time I go to Marco. So if I've got over 10k, I can skip that shop in Kaku. Sorry for the silence, just got to concentrate a bit here, because lots of um, fiddly bullshit to remember. done up my boy Pan's weapon. Or your spirit did, anyway. Three hollies, one three fairy, one creeper, one, two, three, four, five. There he is. Oh. 
Alright, please say I've landed in the right spot. Looks good. So nervous. Oh, no. Got moose, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I really like um, Luke in Sukoden 3. I mean, it's kind of the only game where he has any real personality. He's just kind of a bit standoffish and doesn't really say much in the first two games. He's a bit of a non-character. But now that we have the context of Sukoden 3, it kind of seems like deep and deliberate. Should be a run. Good. I really tidied up my NPC indicators uh, around this part. be there, Lekanat's forcing him. Honestly, I think 3 is the one that's in most need of a remake. It's a good core game with some weird mechanic, cho mechanic gameplay mechanic choices, but the graphics are just so bad. They suck so much. It would just be a much of... It'd be a way bigger project, I think, to overhaul the graphics of that. Indicator, I did it right. What do you want from me? 
No, I'm gonna have to bribe him. Oh, fuck off! Uh, oh my god, please! I did the thing that I practiced as it is in my notes. Oh, fuck knows what we're gonna see here now, then. Thank you. Jesus. Yeah. Three's a good game, man. In, in some ways. <laughs> Moravia go wrong in PB? Did it go right? Can't remember. See? Just fucking can't remember. It's gone. Think it went fine? Cut off his head. Okay, so we're going Flick, Sonya, Hellion. Crowley a lol. <laughs> could have done for all the time that fighting bought them.
Hmm. I wonder if the Flick vs. Hellion speed thing will matter here. I don't think so. I mean, it, it won't be, like, hugely consequential even if it does, because we'll still, we can let go of the fights here. There's one of those that I'm supposed to earthquake, but according to my notes, it's right after, right after we get Vincent. Crin, the real hero, yeah. Stupid Hellion speed, man. That's annoying. What up, Zero Bahamut? Wing boots. Interesting. Thanks for the good luck. Wonder what those sorcerers' uh, speed is. It's between 121 and 126, I can tell you that. nothing. We um, recruited Hellion four times and it bumps her. It, her starting level is 30. So it, it adds, each time you recruit her it um, adds 29 to her level. And she shows up. She's like the like, same as the invisible Vicky glitch. You can get invisible Hellion and recruit her each time. Uh, Sonya, we get, um, we recruit Sonya early. It's kind of difficult to set up for Sonya because you need, um, you need castle level four and to have already recruited Crowley and everyone else that lives in the basement for invisible Sonya to appear there. But that's what we do. And so if you can, if you can do that, and get down to the basement at a point where you can have Cleo in the back. Then you can you can do it for Sonya. But you can do it for Hellion any time. Like if you um, have Camille in the back of your party, any time after you've recruited Hellion, you can go and speak to a certain spot in uh, the inn where she where you recruit her in Tayan and just recruit her again and again. But those are the only two characters we've been able to find so far and it look I'm kind of exhausted all other possibilities, I think. But you know. Maybe me or Zero will have a brainwave at some point and remember someone else. Find someone else that works.
Invisible Clive is not a thing because... Uh, well, he actually is a thing. You can talk to him invisibly and recruit him, but... The reason that a lot, the reason you can't do this with a lot of characters, Clive being one of them, is that after you recruit them, they walk off screen. It doesn't just do like a fade to black and then they disappear. So like this scene wouldn't work. If you could, not that you would have any reason to, but if you could do Invisible Leon, uh, maybe, maybe it would. Maybe Matthew would appear and speak to an invisible spot. But the point is a lot of characters, including Clive, after you recruit them, oh, there's the split. Um, after you recruit them, like walk off screen, it doesn't just do a fade to black. And if you're if you're speaking to them invisibly, the game trying to make them walk off screen when they're not there crashes the game. No, not basement. Yeah, it has to be... So Hellion works because she doesn't... Um, after you recruit her, the screen just fades to black and then she's disappeared. She doesn't, like, walk off, off screen. But so many characters do after you recruit them. And, um... Yeah, even if they are accessible invisibly, they'll crash the game if you recruit them. Which is sad, because yeah, Invisible Clive would be nuts. Yeah, there's like, I know in like the early speedruns, I think, um, they used to do level 99 Kuramimi by keeping McDoll knocked out. Um, so keeping him at level 1, because Kuramimi joins like one level below whatever the hero's at. And so if you keep McDoll at level 1, then Kuramimi joins at level 99. I think that's what they used to do in, like, the early speedruns. Invisible Gremio. That's true, he's a bit of a waste of space of a party member. Yeah, he can stay invisible, yeah. <laughs> Alright, now, going into Sonya... ...feels kind of nice, because it really doesn't matter which Sonya seed we get. All the... Uh, big war fights are RNG resets, so they all reset to like a set value, so they all play out the same and then give you the same sequence of events afterwards. Uh, except Sonya. Sonya is an RNG reset, but she has a range of values she can reset to, a range of something around 25 to 30 values. And we use the formation of our troops here for me to determine which of those values we've got. Ooh. 54! Had this one before. This was the, the one I had last time I got here. This was the one that let me discover the level 95 Sonya thing. Well, the one where I discovered it.
This run has been ass, and it's, yeah, still, um... Yeah, this is the same Sonya Seed as what I got in uh, PB. Using Sonya against herself. Feels good. What, like a, like a how to do it kind of thing. I made a very rough one of those. Uh, for Prismatics, who I... No, no I didn't. Did I? Shit. Um, not for... Uh, uh, fucking sorry, what am I doing? Uh, 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 Crowley... Kasim, Sonia, Hellion, jeez. Um, yeah, that that was for Holy Crystal. Yeah, no, getting confused. Um, no, I didn't make a video. I put a post on uh, Suico Source forums. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't make one, but I put th there's a post on the Suico Source forums. But maybe I maybe I'll make a YouTube video. Because yeah, it's super easy to do the level 99 Hellion. Like anyone could do it. You don't need a particular like speedrunnery type setup. Uh, so I put a post on the Suico Source forums and also on um, uh, the Scarlet Moon Empire Discord. Ah, huh, losing time here. I think I did split slightly early on the um, that the previous Leon split, but um, yeah, because I thought the level ninety nine Hellion thing would be pretty hype and like people would want to know about it and people would want to use it, but like the post I put on the forum and the post I put in the Scarlet Moon Empire Discord <laughs> seems no one gives a shit. <laughs> Zero gave a shit, thank you. Yeah, Sonya has weird reactions to things. Uh, Dink, it was uh, level 99 Hellion glitch. Which uses the same um, the same exploit as uh, Invisible Vicky that we've known about for years. It's just like an extension of that. Hey, RJ, thanks. Thanks for the good luck. Yeah, who knows what glitches the remaster will offer up, but um, hard to think we'll be able to... We'll have the same level of control over, you know, the, the game's random events.
Oh god, really? Don't know about that. I don't think so. I, I, well, I say that. I have no idea, really. But that might have just come about because of the diagonal movement thing. Like, that might just be sort of a rumour based on the diagonal movement, because there was diagonal movement in the PSP version. And there is going to be diagonal movement in, in at least the um, Sukoden 2 remaster. They haven't... I don't think they've shown diagonal movement for the P for the Sukoden 1 remaster. Not in any of the previews, anyway. Uh, no, not on the Aodin release date, I don't think. And no, yeah, and dead, no word on the um, Sukoden remaster release date. A lot of promises being made by these game developers. No way, Woof. Got Oh yeah, this um, party selection menu is really neat and nice now. After all the weird, clunky ones I have to do throughout the rest of the run. Isn't that lovely? Eh, uh, we got plenty there. Just kind of hoping those wing boots would sell for more. Only 5.1k. Too much money. Ain guide couldn't handle it. <laughs> so rich. What the fuck? Dies. Yeah, exactly. Now there's nobody left to guide us through Gregorminster. Yeah. Totally. Because they're allergic to money, yeah, yet somehow they work for a super corrupt empire. Yeah, you skip both of them. We only discovered that, well, I say we, Zero discovered that, like, I don't know. Couple, was it a couple of years ago now already, or was it more recently than that? Point it. 
Point is, it hasn't been known about for a super long time. By us, anyway. Huh. It's been 2020 for four years now, so who knows exactly. Guaranteed no encounters feels good. Who's a cute little dragon? There you go, mate. Oh, because Sonya's in my party. wonder if I skipped some... Oh, I was thinking, God, did I not... Did I actually, re like... Did Gremio get brought back? Like, am I... <laughs> who am I missing? <laughs> I panicked for a second, but Sonya's in my party. I wonder if I um, missed some dialogue there as well. Free time save, yeah. <laughs> Beheaded Sonya by accident. <laughs> Show you what true power is. Ooh, look at all this shiny money. sure I did get out with no encounters uh, in PB, so I don't think we'll be looking at any time save this last split. Victor's my holy rune bearer. I forgot I'd be walking this part. I guess it doesn't matter. Might lose a couple of seconds there, though. The Emperor's dead. Give it a rest, right? I mean, look at this guy on the bottom left just still standing there because we didn't fight him earlier. He's gonna stand. He's just gonna stand on guard until he gets crushed by rocks for the sake of his dead Emperor whose heavy-ass jump caused this palace to collapse, by the way.
totally forgot that I wouldn't be able to dash that last um, that last stretch. No, I could do. At the point where I give Sonya the champion's room. When is that? Oh, I saved 1.1 seconds on the... Oh, 13... 3.13 on the nose. Oh, thanks for the GG's, guys. Yeah, 13 seconds too quick. If it was 3, 13, 13, that'd be good. World record indeed. Yeah, if I could somehow get it to like 13 or like 0.13 seconds as well. Be very impressive. Better than frame perfect. Well, yeah, at 60 frames a second anyway. Got to get the 12, 12, to, yeah. <laughs> the 2, 12. Hey, well. I reckon... There's probably another minute that can go off that. With this route, anyway, like... There might even I did I kind of threw this route together kinda of hastily. There's probably some some routing improvements that could be made. I reckon there's at least a minute that could come off this this the time for this category. I don't know if I'll grind for it. I might leave it at 3.13 on the dot for now. We'll see, though. Thanks, Trenton. Hmm, who's this guy? As a Final Fantasy streamer playing Suicoden 5, we could raid. I'm gonna stop the recording. <laughs> 